You're watching Fox at 9. It's a story that's touched the hearts of millions around the globe. 33 miners trapped for more than two months underground in Chile have been successfully rescued. Tonight, all of them are resting in a hospital. As the miners rode up that escape shaft, doctors carefully monitored their health to make sure there were no problems. That's right. Some of the technology they used was developed right here in the metro, in fact. And Fox 9's Bill Keller is going to show us how it all works. One by one, the 33 miners were pulled to the surface through a tiny tube. Miraculously, they survived 69 days underground. But doctors say the most dangerous part of the rescue was the 2,000-foot ride to freedom. To be rescued uh, at such a depth and to take that capsule ride uh, up through the, to the surface is extremely stressful uh, on the body. Dr. Keith Wesley is the medical director for Health East here in the Twin Cities. He says it was critical that doctors in Chile monitor the vital signs of the miners as they took the 20-minute ride to the surface. Generally, they're going to be monitoring their heart rate, their blood pressure, uh, their temperature, uh, because it's very hot uh, down below. And going along on each ride was a tiny wireless device made right here in Minnesota that monitored the amount of oxygen in each miner's blood. One of the biggest concerns they had, though, were, was about respiratory issues um, because of air quality and because of the transition from being underground to being above ground and not knowing how the patients were going, the, the men were going to react. You can even see this miner is still wearing his after he leaves the capsule. Plymouth-based Nonin Medical invented the fingertip device called a pulse ox. It uses infrared light to measure oxygen saturation. All it does is open up like a clamshell. It's now standard equipment in the medical field, but a newer wireless device allowed rescuers in Chile to remotely check the miners' vitals, giving first responders a sneak peek at their patient's condition. Being able to be warned ahead of time before they arrive really uh, added an extra layer of safety uh, for these miners. Now, one of the big things they are concerned about is pulmonary disease from so much exposure underground. And non in Medical also donated some of these uh, little fingertip device to these miners to be worn after uh, they go home to continue to monitor their health. Mm -hmm. And uh, Heidi, take a look at this. This is the, the one. These cost less than $100. They really? have a lot of uses outside of the ER. You can put that right on your finger. Cool. And we'll know what your pulse oxygen is here. It'll also give yeah. you your pulse. This is the wireless one that they used uh, down by the rescuers. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, this is also pretty much standard issue for uh, oh, yeah, field military packs. Am I healthy? Well, you got a standing heart rate of uh, 91. I've got a standing heart rate of about a squirrel. <laughs> mine, was, <laughs> mine was about 114 before. But they're really fascinating new technology that was able to uh, help out those miners down yeah, in Chile. That's great. Well, hopefully we can get a lot more uh, technology like this out in the field. So Absolutely. You got it when you need it. You know? All right. All right thanks, thanks so much, Bill. You bet.